number 10. Let's start this list outright. The sound and sights of bacon cooking fall under ASMR. What is ASMR? ASMR is people's sensation when watching stimulating videos or participating in other activities involving personal attention. Many people describe the feeling as tingles that run through the back of someone's head and spine. Listen to the bacon cook, see the sizzle, the pops, and feel the anticipation of that sweet and salty meat crossing your lips. Yummy, bacon. Who's hungry? Number 9. Salted pork belly appeared on dining tables thousands of years ago in China. Pork curing methods spread throughout the Roman Empire and Anglo-Saxon peasants cooked with bacon fat. Until the 16th century, the Middle English term bacon or bacon referred to all pork. The word bacon derives from various Germanic and French dialects, including the Old French bacon, Old High German bacho, meaning buttock, and Old Teutonic back, which refers to the back. But the cut typically used to make bacon comes from the side, or belly, of the hog. In modern England, a side of bacon is called a gammon, and a thin slice of bacon is known as a rasher. Number 8. For generations, local farmers and butchers made bacon for their local communities. In England, where it became a dietary staple, bacon was typically dry cured with salt and smoked. In the late 18th century, a businessman named John Harris opened the first bacon processing plant in Wiltshire, where he developed a unique brining solution for finishing the meat. The Wiltshire cure method is still used today and is a favorite of bacon lovers who prefer a sweeter, less salty taste. Wiltshire cured bacon, gammon, and ham may be smoked in a temperature-controlled smoking chamber. However, this must be done using natural wood smoke derived from chard and smoldered hardwood such as oak, beech, or applewood. Scented or resinous wood, such as conifer, is not allowed due to its tendency to tar and taint the resulting product. Wood flavors, wood extracts, or liquid smoke applications are not permitted. Number 7. In addition to planting victory gardens and buying war bonds, households were encouraged to donate their leftover bacon grease to the war effort. Rendered fats created glycerin, producing bombs, gunpowder, and other munitions. A promotional film starring Minnie Mouse and Pluto chided housewives for throwing out more than 2 billion pounds of bacon grease yearly. That's enough glycerin for 10 billion rapid-fire cannon shells. Don't throw away that bacon grease. Housewives of America, one of the most important things you can do is to save your waste kitchen fats, bacon grease, meat drippings, frying fats. We and our allies need millions of pounds of fats to help win the war. <coughs> For fats make glycerin, and glycerin makes explosives. Every year, two billion pounds of waste kitchen fats are thrown away. Enough glycerin for 10 billion rapid-fire cannon shells. A belt 150,000 miles long, six times around the Earth. A skillet of bacon grease is a little munitions factory. Meat drippings sink Axis warships. Waste frying fats speed depth charges on their way to crush Axis submarines. Your pound of waste fat will give some boy at the front an extra clip of cartridges. Do you still want the bacon beef, Pluto? Pour your waste kitchen fats in a clean, wide mouth can. That's right, not a glass jar or paper bag. Please strain the fats through a kitchen sieve. Keep in a cool, dark place so it won't become rancid. When you have a pound or more, 
take it to your neighborhood meat dealer, who is patriotically cooperating. He will weigh the fat and pay you for it. <laughs> so you want weenies instead of money. Okay, catch them. Save waste fats to make explosives. Look for the official insignia in your meat dealer's window. We are on our way to number six, but before we get there, don't forget to click that subscribe button, then like our video and share it with your friends, it helps the channel out and lets us know you like us, thanks for watching. Number 6. You may recognize the phrase bringing home the bacon as a reference to making money. But in 12th century England, this phrase meant something completely different. Back then, churches would award a side of bacon, which they called a flitch, to any married man who swore before God that he and his wife had not argued for a year and a day. Therefore, men who brought home the bacon were considered good husbands and citizens. Let's see a husband and wife accomplish not arguing with his wife for a year and a day today. Number 5. In the 80s, the dieting trend discouraged the consumption of saturated fats and cholesterol, which hurt the mass consumption of bacon. However, by the 90s, the fad's hold on the American public started to wane, and in 1992, Hardee's produced one of the first fast food burgers served with bacon. The Frisco Burger. It was a hit. This rekindled America's love for the tasty pork strips and convinced other fast food companies to add bacon to their burgers. You are about to get hungry. San Francisco is famous for three things. Cable cars, the Golden Gate Bridge, and that delicious sourdough bread. The secret to Hardee's new Frisco Burger. Introducing Hardee's Frisco Burger. Grilled sourdough bread topped with a thick Hardee's quarter pound burger, melted Swiss, sizzling bacon and sliced tomatoes. <laughs> if you want the best of San Francisco, get a Frisco Burger at Hardee's. You want the bridge? I'll send you a postcard. Are you ready for some real food? Hardee's. Number 4. If bacon worship is your thing, consider the United Church of Bacon. Based in Las Vegas, Nevada, the officially sanctioned church has around 13,000 members. They even perform wedding ceremonies and fundraisers for charity. They have their own nine bacon commandments, covering everything from being a good citizen to not discriminating against religion and enjoying bacon. The nine bacon commandments. 1. Be skeptical. 2. Respect boundaries. 3. Normalize atheists. 4. Normalize religion. 5. Have fun. 6. Be good. 7. Be generous. 8. Praise bacon. 9. Pay taxes. I don't know about you, but I don't have enough bacon in the bacon commandments. Number 3. Maybe a bacon religion is a bit much for you. Then why not go on a bacon camp? Held every year in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Camp Bacon offers a wide range of bacon-related activities, including speakers, cooking classes, and of course, bacon tasting. An excerpt from the Bacon Camp website reads, Camp Bacon is a five-day food learning and eating experience. You can choose just one event or join them all. The week includes the main event featuring an all-day lineup of captivating guest speakers and a menu of delicious bacon bites. It includes the Bacon Ball Dinner, Bacon Film Festival, Bacon Street Fair, tastings, classes, and more. It is a food camp that satisfies your mind as much as your taste buds. Don't get us wrong, you will leave having tasted a lot of bacon, but we are here to share its story. This unique bacon opportunity only comes annually, so don't miss it. Number 2. American bacon is made from the pork belly, which explains the streaks of fat. European and Canadian bacon are still made from the back meat of the pig, which is much leaner. It tastes like ham, and Canadians do not call it Canadian bacon, but rather back bacon or pea meal if it's rolled in yellow pea meal. British bacon, or rashers, is a genius blend of American and Canadian bacon. British bacon features some of the back meat, or loin, and some of the belly meat, providing lean protein and flavorful fat all at once. Commonly referred to as back bacon, delicious British bacon is enjoyed most with a traditional English breakfast. Number 1. Bacon has been described as a gateway to meat for vegetarians. Bacon's seductive powers are so strong that scientists have studied the phenomenon and have concluded that bacon is in the perfect position to take advantage of how the brain is wired. 
bacon is one to two thirds fat and also has lots of protein. It speaks to our evolutionary quest for calories. 90% of what we taste is odor. Bacon's aggressive smell delivers a powerful hit to our sense of how good it will taste. This status adds a whole new layer of enticement to vegetarians. Forbidden fruit or bacon?